I mean, of course someone will say things like that, you know. Of course somebody will say something like that, you know, when you consider the fact that things was like, like, it's been no, it's, you know, God made it to where it'll be unmistakable. You know, the fact that I was doing God's work and I'm still doing God's work. And for anyone, you know, like for anyone at other time, or, you know, or any influential beings or power or entities for them to see and God made it to where it's clear you know to see them doing God's work and you know for someone to say that that's the work of the devil or for someone to say I'm a demon and I'm all this type of evil stuff knowing you know knowing that's the different that's the determining factor between blessing and the Holy Spirit and not because when they know you know they're saying okay forget forget what Christ done for me that's what they're saying they're telling Christ to get back on the cross and even worse you know they're saying that what he did meant nothing and that's the most sacred gift in that that God provided humanity you know what I'm saying for the, he, he gave the blood of his only begotten so that nobody has to go to hell you know and it's free you know it requires nothing but self-sacrifice and you know for for persecutors to see that, you know, then of course they'll say, you know, and, and then for them to see that, then deem me something evil or say I'm this and that, you know, knowingly, you know, incessantly, you know, over a course of a long period of time, forever. And then they put themselves in a position of where it's still happening, you know, then of course, you know, um, someone to say and continue to utter that because they have no Holy Spirit, you know, they have no Holy Spirit inside them. And so, you know, this is only filled with the Antichrist spirit. So, of course, it's just going to reaffirm that reality and that, you know, that Satan had because that's all that someone has to go in that kind of position or that kind of soul state. You know, all they have to go on is what Satan say because it's the Antichrist spirit. So, of course, you know, utterances that, you know, would be, you know, exceptionally, extremely harsh towards me, you know, in the most on the lowest of keys, you know, what I'm saying like in the, in the most inadvertent subliminal type of way and then try to rig that somehow my my, my defense of myself, my integrity. I mean, my integrity speaks for itself, you know, but my your integrity, integrity can be lied on. You see, that's the difference. It can be lied on, you know, um, in spite of, you know, evidence being, you know, seeing country proof right there. Somebody can see that and then go back and say, you know, what I'm saying this is not the case or this is the case. You know, that in itself is antichrist. Because, you know, after seeing that, you know, in this lie, there's no truth in Satan. He's unable to, he's unable to, you know, retain the truth, you know. And so that's the reality, you know, other situation. It's Antichrist spirit that hates what God doing, you know, what Christ doing. These are the type of things I've been saying since before there was or was not a present situation upon us, you know. Regardless of what that situation may be, I've been speaking the truth of, of the light of the Lord, you know, and the Bible wisdom and things and spiritual things that align to the word of God. Since before this season, since before last season, since before the season, before that season, you know, it's, it's not nothing new. You know what I'm saying? So that in itself shows a pattern. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who got a heart for justice or care about like what's right and what's godly, then they'll automatically follow suit. You know what I'm saying? It won't be no opposition other than the Antichrist. Because God God come, you know, God validated me, you know. And he's showing the world. The people validated me. I mean, I mean, it's all of God. I'm not, you know, it's, it's not a situation of me proving myself or anything. And that's already been proven. It's right now is a matter of showing society, like, what the age we're living in, like, what, what the point in time that we're living in. You know, that way, those who still have hope, who have not blessed me in the Holy Spirit, you know, can still repent and turn their life. Because this earth, you know, the earth, God said the heavens and the earth will pass away. My word is the only thing that's going to last forever. My word shall last forever, you know. That's the only thing that's going to last. You know, all of this is going to pass away. You know what I'm saying? And no physical being going to be on earth forever. You know, um, the, the, our destination is the spiritual side. That's the final destination. You know, so it's, it, you got one or two places to go. And right now, it's just a point in time of getting right spiritually so we go to the right place. Choose the light. You know what I'm saying? Anything else going to lead to hell. And, you know, now, you know, the situation now is, is, is it really escalates, you know, in the matter, you know, because, um, you know, you have these influential figures, which I've been speaking recently about on my social media accounts out of desperation, you know what I'm saying, out of genuine, you know, uh, fear for my life, livelihoods and everything, you know, which have proof of them being under attack, you know, through the chaos theory that already been, you know, transpired and things. And, you know, the fact that, you know, things like, you know, it's such a nature of, you know, distortion campaigns and evil, just a, a nature, a presence of that form of evil still, you know, manifests and shows extreme, it has extreme implications, you know, horrible thing. Like it's showing that there is a collapsed society, 
You know what I'm saying? That nobody is acknowledging. Or some acknowledging, but I mean with my personal situation, you know, it's it was like my situation was like more of a situation where you have different types of people in the world and you have different types of journeys in society that God give people in the earth, you know, during their time here. And you have some people who here they for they're forerunners. And then you got people, you know, who who just as influential, just as important, you know, God just has a different piece for them to do. With my situation, that's what it was. It was an origin, then there was branches, you know, to cover that, or hide that, distraction, you know, distractions from that, or to de emphasize and impl- it's the most hate, you know, heinous satanic thing that anyone could ever do to a person. The things that I've had that's happened in my life alone, then the fact that someone actually saying or trying to make a way to say that this never happened or this and it's crazy because it like it plays right into things that i was going through since i was young it's like it's weird because i always felt like this demonic like this giant like a shadow that always was over me though and then i learned it's like you know it's like it's this it was none other than the enemy you know the devil the antichrist he see your anointing and you attack your anointing and no anointing attracts attack you know and that's that's a, that's the truth that's facts you know um but as for the present, my present situation, yeah, you know, I mean, do the best I can, you know, with what God give me, you know, uh, you know, it don't take, I try to try to maintain, you know, my life, you know, um, to the best of my ability. It don't take much to maintain, you know, it's just to be, you know, I mean, to be able to express myself, um, you know, for those that love me, love to hear it, you know, um, not not for the, you know, inches of no kind of antichrist beings or entities, though they, they're, you know, they're heavily pressed on my life, on my reality. Antichrist is heavily, you know, just on me, like clothing me like, you know, a blanket, you know, and it's, it's 100% to stop the purposes of Jesus Christ, you know. And it's crazy because it's, it's unnatural, it's, un, it's unfair, it's irrational, you know, and it, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, you know. And I mean, I still remain, you know, my thoughts and everything on the situation remain. Jesus is Lord, you know, and I still have the same faith. It's sabotaging my life, you know, um, in various ways, you know, uh, things that the word prophesied, you know, we see it in the Bible. And I see in the Bible come to life, I'm one of the ones that can actually say that first you know i read it's not just a book but i see the, the bible in real life and i've seen the bible in real life you know this stuff is just real you know um some things i wish never happened you know but it's unfortunately it did you know so i mean that was the determining factor of what was and was not allowed to determine the trajectory of you know a soul state of many you know i know personally all i've ever done was trying to speak the truth and shit and spread the gospel of the Lord, you know, and that's confirmable, you know what I'm saying, as I grew more into my purpose, grew more into what God wanted me to do as an artist, you know, for him and everything, then things got clearer, and then I was able to better express myself, you know, concerning that, you know, but I'm in no way up for antagonism, yet I'm being threatened, you know, by um powerful influences and entities, you know, um still, you know, uh, being threatened with more harassment, or being threatened with murder, you know, with death, um, violent attacks, you know, um, implications, you know, implications of people, you know, of, um, of of people who should not, you know, be even, you know, thinking of such a um, situation, given, you know, what they've already consented to for their path and purpose on earth, you know, um, who, you know what I'm saying, present, you know, like, it's just, it's just been a intrinsic situation that, that's been, you know, crazy and it's unjustifiable, you know, and it takes antichrist to justify anyone, you know, antichrist spirit to justify anyone on the evils that's, that transpired against me, knowingly of my commitment and allegiance to the Lord Christ. You know what I mean? That's it's no other, you know, it's blessed me, the Holy Spirit and it's antichrist. It means it's common sense, you know, it's like, it's plain as day, you know, and, um, that's not, that's not on me. That's not my fault. You know, I did all I could, you know, to spread the light and I continue to speak the light and spread the truth. And now I'm in a position where it's it, it, like the situation is to where, you know, if it's evil influences and entities that, you know, target my life, you know, for, and the interest that I don't express myself for God or my talent be, you know, lie dormant and I don't grow, you know, in Christ. I don't grow in my talent. I don't grow in purpose and I don't grow to help or save or deliver anybody from Satan's yokes, you know, until they can turn to the glorious light and the gospel of Christ. You know what I'm saying? Anyone who, you know what I'm saying? Like that. And that's the reason influences focus on me you know in order to stop and undermine that but what that does is that puts me that that, inc- that inclines me to put pressure on those responsible for preventing that you know yes i mean it's not and that's the way it is because at the end of the, i'm just a civilian you know what i'm saying i'm just i was a normal part of my artist and i'm a follower of christ jesus you know what i'm saying it's, i don't have the it's not my responsibility to you know render 
I, I can't, you know, I can't do that. You know, I got, I got power and I do what I can, you know, but it's certain people who are responsible, you know what I'm saying, for, for, you know, securing, securing, um, society, you know what I'm saying? That I, that's outside my, my realm, you know, my realm, but at the same time, my testimonies, you know, that's part of me, who I am, you know, so my, my testimonies, that's, you know, that's going to always be a part of me because that's what I've gone through. And that's in God's name. You know, God knows God is witness of it. The Lord Christ bear witness of the things I went through. Anyone who's, you know, contradict that is antichrist because they're saying that, that, that Jesus is a liar. You know, when he showed that he's still with me and God don't, he don't raise or lift up liars, you know, Satan does. And one thing about antichrist, he don't, he don't confess to Christ. The antichrist don't confess Christ. It don't exalt Christ. You know, and they don't worship Christ willingly or willfully, you know, besides, you know, somebody having to mention it to him or something, you know. So, I mean, it's, it's things in the Bible, you know, so for, you know, like you have to be careful, like, with labels because, I mean, you got to understand labels before we throw them, you know. But it's because, I mean, the word is, one thing I know the Bible is, you know, it's the guide of life. You know, it's everything. It's the instruction book. And, you know, it's not my fault that, you know, I'm in, you know, under attack. And, they, you know, is they do it to sabotage my life, knowing that when he was imposed on me during situation, the delicate situation is going to it's going to cause me to have to, you know, respond sometimes. Sometimes it's vital to respond. Some things, you know, I don't have, you know, it's tiring, you know, it's exhausting because it's pointless, you know, because so ultimately, you know, it's going to get to the point where God going to help us. You know, God going to come save his people. He go get us out of here and he go. He go go to war with the world itself. The world being anything that's against him. That's in that term, the world, quote unquote. Things that's antichrist, things that's evil, things that attack children of God knowingly and willfully and, you know, incessantly, you know, just in order to preserve some type of money or in order to preserve some type of, you know, power or to preserve some type of influence or to preserve, you know, something else that's temporal and vain in the, you know, in his physical realm, you know, physical realm. And that's that's what Satan is all about, the physical. This is as close to heaven as some again, you know. Then this is close to hell as some again. You know. But yeah, so I mean uh, with, with the perpetuation or the you know, allowing those certain evil influences to continue, you know, to tell like, to to harass me, harass my life in ways that I've sh I've surely said, you know, I I want no, you know what I'm saying, I'm good. You know, I'm 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 good on all that. I desire none of it. After that, after that, to say anything more, that's ill. I mean, that's that's what they, you know, that's against the standards of the land. You know, that's harassment. So I, how can I be antagonized for speaking against something, and then with so much of the evidence, you know, and things that already can be backtracked upon and brought forward? I mean, what? You know, I'm not the one that, that you know, in the um hot seat. You know, that has nothing to do with me. I'm just responsible for trying to pursue happiness, live a good life, do the right thing. You know, follow God, inspire people, and spread the gospel and the truth. That's what I've been doing. You know, and that's not gonna change. That's what I'm in here in, earth, in the earth to do. It's not about me. It's bigger than me, on all levels. You know, I'm aware of that. So I mean, yeah, when I'm expressing myself, you know, I, I, my 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 methods of expression even been attacked. You know, as ways to keep me from being able to express myself, you know, during times when I need to express myself. You know, it's like it's, it's, it's weaponized my life in a way to sabotage it. You know, all of these strategic things was weaponizing my life to sabotage it to keep me from being able to express long term, you know, myself. And in the interest of, of it was Satan's activity in the interest of preventing Christ Jesus from ever spreading. So, I mean, it's, it's things done cunningly, but it means the same thing, you know, it's implications that that you know breathe heavy so i mean it's the type it's the same type of ordeal i've been going through for the past couple years you know and i'm equipped to, i'm accustomed to it you know if, if you will but i mean i'd rather not be you know but at the same time i believe things god allow you to take go through you know it builds character and it makes you a better person so i mean perhaps i had you know i don't know something i didn't know you know that i had you know the work that i needed to work on and grow on i always say that because i mean i don't got it all perfect i ain't got it all you know, perfect in this world. You know, nothing is but God. You know, and the Son. I mean, now I can't. You know, so I mean, persecution. As I spoke and told many, you know, that, that's not the only thing that I'm about. You know, speaking on this is not. It's just something that, that I've gone through. It's not who I am. It don't define me. You know, 
But I do the fear of my light. You know, um, I have a whole lot of satanic things that just impose on me in order to prevent, like a Muslim, and to prevent me from expressing fully the glory of the Lord, or to you know enjoying the simple things. Like it's like it's it's a way to throw a wrench in every single thing I look at. You know, satanic antichrist cults or whatever coalitions or regimes or whatever it is. You know, systems or is I mean it's it's a mixture. That, that desire to stamp out all knowledge of Christ Jesus regardless of what the proper proclamation being or what's promulgated or what's said you know that's the action speak louder than words and if things are happening or being allowed to happen then I mean that puts me in a position where I have to speak about it you know because I mean I want everybody to be happy but at the same time you know I want to be happy you know I, I got joy so happiness is really not my main thing but I wish that you know, I want to be able to express myself and to do God's will and, and use what God gave me to do his will and things trying to prevent that then I'm inclined to um you know illuminate about it. I mean what that's what you I mean what else can I do it's, I mean it's righteous anger because it's, 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 it's satanic forces and stuff you know that desire to prevent God's work and God's will in my life you know specifically you know due to I don't know anointing the track attack so I mean that that's and that's in itself that's gonna you know inspire me encourage me and incite and entice me you know to illuminate like so you know so I mean it's, it's all like it's all like clockwork you feel me I mean if I don't have no evil to illuminate good but it's real life it's been real life for a long time for me. And then, you know, it's like the audacity is even being displayed to actually antagonize me for speaking the truth or bringing light on evil, you know, by satanic artists and cults and stuff like and influences and entities, you know, that 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 country contradict, you know, the foundation of, of society, the foundation of the lands, you know, but somehow fine, you know, it's fine to do because mammon in it. And if that's not saying that mammon's been chosen over Jesus Christ, then I mean that's that's obvious right there. The creator, you know, is being I mean the creation is being worshipped more than the creator. And that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? Some have taken to the creation instead of the creator. You know? And that's the, what's being implied, you know. So I mean it's like just like when I see impositions at me, I'm like, they're not, you know, it's not people saying, you know, or showing certain things to me, they're doing that to Christ Jesus. It's straight through me, you know, it's, it's Jesus. Like, you know, they're not they're not doing that, you know, against me. They're doing that to Christ. They're saying that to Christ. You know, they don't realize it because, you know, anyone without the spirit of God can't discern the things of God, which is in Corinthians, you know. So if they don't have that, you I mean, whatever is not, whatever is against God, you know, ultimately have a fate of eternal fire, you know, regardless of any way you look at it, you know, it's not going to, ever in you know and this short life right here is small compared to eternity eternity is forever like you know so i mean it don't matter what's done to me you know what i'm saying i mean at the end very end christ jesus he gonna take his rightful place in earth you know that's what they that's who their enemy is they're targeting me because they hate jesus regardless of what their mouth say that's what their actions showing you know they targeted me or whatever that targets me or whoever like that's targeting me i know it's it's the devil it targets me this this darkness for years like i just it just been like just to suck and drain the life out you you know spiritually and it's been targeted me you know uh, or whatever in the with the intentions of undermining what i can do for god which is why i have righteous anger because not because of myself or exalting myself or the pride of myself or the life but but preventing what i could do for god you know what i mean help i can it's a lot that you know i can do you know, it's a lot anyone can do for God. You don't have to be big, major things. You know, you can do small things and make a major difference in the world. You know, but when a wrench being thrown at even the small things, then, you know, it's a problem. You know? So I don't have no problem illuminating this. I fear no evil. God, you know, for thy ride, thy stab, they come for me. You know, as this clearly shows, you know, because, I mean, it, I mean, at the same time, you you know, you got wisdom, you know, and rest, you, you have a rational, you know, understanding, you know what I'm saying? on the situation and knowing when it's wise and when it ain't wise you know uh, when to be still and, and understand but you know this situation here just called for illumination i mean it's crazy it's been a while since my last recording
but yeah, I'm bringing this back. I mean, I haven't gone. Oh, I still, you know, just just I got uh, the other day. I was uh, bringing the port of the day on one of my long term my long time platforms, and it's crazy because like I'm realizing now, it's almost like a lot of things coming to like ahead, you know. And I'm understanding like it's strange because it's like I was hidden or muffled at one point by something, and I it was totally without my knowledge, you know. Because I didn't, I mean, I know I'm illuminating things that happen in my life. And then I'm also expressing myself throughout my life, you know, um, other things, my ups and downs, real life for me. And then it, as, it, as it all come to a head, it's like it's almost as if certain influences that didn't know me and that I don't know, you know, was like actually more involved in my life than I ever thought, you know, without cause in the most evil and ruthlessly malicious ways. You know, and that's what all signs point to. And it's the strangest thing to me, you know, because I didn't do anything to invite that kind of reality in my life. You know, I made mistakes in life, but I mean, it was nothing that would, you know, warrant such a, a massive amount, you know, of, of, the, of demonic distortion campaigns and stuff in my life. I just totally, you know, ridiculous. You know, that in itself is Antichrist. What it was was Satan just saw that potential, you know, that God had, you know, in me, you know, for to do his will for good. And he used everything that's, that, that lacks the spirit of God, you know, an Antichrist in order to, you know, oppose that and fight against that. That's why all this stuff happened without cause and without reason. This is an emergency situation. You know, every time I express it's an emergency situation, you know, on multiple levels, you know. Whether or not somebody want to acknowledge that or not, you know, that's not my problem. You know, Jesus is Lord. You know, that's who I follow, who I've been with, and that's who I stand for. And I stand firm in my faith, you know, to the end, to God ready for me. I mean, truth is the truth, you know. Killing God's vessels and, and destroying his servants don't change the, the facts that's in the Bible. You know, his word going to last forever. Everything else going to die anyway. Everything. Everything physical and everything um that you know and things that's in heaven. But his word will last forever. And that's what I stand for. That's what I represent. That's the message I stress. I stress what the words say. That's the message. My message is John 3.16, you know, to the world. You know, it's not nothing that Dexter thought of or nothing I thought of, you know. Elijah is not Jesus, you know. Jesus is Jesus by himself. You know what I'm saying? I can, those are shoes I could never feel. You know, I, know, I know my place. You know, I'm beneath the Lord. I'm beneath the throne of God, you know. It's by his mercy and his grace that I ever existed, you know. So, I mean, like I say, it's really not really much that need to be said. I mean, backtracking clearly shows that. Backtracking, you know, in the Bible for one. Backtrack the Bible, you know what I'm saying? That's everything. That's the foundation for my whole life, legacy, everything. And about the Bible is the foundation for the world. You know, that's God. You know, that's untouchable, you know what I'm saying, undebatable. And then, you know, as far as my own personal testimony, my life and situation, so I'm going to backtrack on my literature, you know, backtrack on my writings, on my on poetry, on my quotes, you know. Uh, I mean, that's who I am, you know. So that's what I'm going to represent because that's what I'm supposed to do. You know, and I stand and I do it for God. And I just got to lead and guide me in every step I made. Because I need that. You know what I mean? I know. But yeah, it don't, it don't really matter. Somebody choose to twist, you know, what's justice or what's right. And try to misbetray it as wrong. Call evil good and good evil. God say woe unto them, you know. Who call, you know, good evil and, and evil good. You know, that's antichrist. And that's eternal flames for whatever do that. Whoever do it, you know. That may have me, me going and go change that. You know, ain't no reason why anyone would, you know, given and knowing the nature of the situation, what's already happened, what's already been proven, the things I already went through. So, I mean, it's only it's only still a problem because that that darkness that wish, you know, that's like to keep me from being able to glorify God and do his will better. That's the reason why, you know, I'm forced, you know, to continue to talk about it. If I still see it, I'm going to talk about it. I speak on the things that I've seen and heard. That's all I can do. You know, that's in the Bible too. I mean, that's all I can do. Speak on what I've seen and heard. You know, whether it's from this world or the spiritual world. But I focus my, I put my focus on the spiritual. I speak on the things like that. You know, um, as for one, testimony and inspire others. You know, as well as to shed light on darkness. Because that's what God told us to do. 
you know so when my life is continually being sabotaged and you know cunning mischievous you know deceptive you know in the demonic ways then i'm forced you know to speak in order to preserve my means of being able to maintain my platform to be able to express and do god's will and work i mean it's all clockwork you know they're attacking that you know some attacking that strategically cunningly in order to prevent god's work because they antichrist you know it's cunningly a sneaky. I don't fear no kind of wrath or nothing. You know, Jesus is Lord. You know. I well the fact I welcome it, you know. Jesus is Lord, you know. Even death is gain. Oh the old death, what a nice thing, you know. <laughs> Glory to God forever, man, the protocrator. Alpha and Omega, you know, backtrack on these recordings, you know. I mean it's always true. It ain't always easy to swallow, you know. It's not always good. You know, I don't have a whole lot of everything not pretty, you know, everything not not rose water you know i've been through like this real life stuff that i've been through you know on the domestic terrorism from antichrist cults and, and systems and all of this kind of stuff you know and the longer it progressed the things you know that, that that forced me to be able to continue to you know perpetuate my illumination you know as necessary which is fine you know given the nature of things that not supposed to be happening happening so illumination may i mean that's what it is i mean the light is light you know I don't have no problem speaking the truth. Jesus is Lord, you know. But yeah, all my everybody that support though, man, stay down though. Uh, stay, you know, and be encouraged and stay up, cause I also plan on um, like I'm gonna do a start doing more Bible readings. Well, um, I got I got another channel I open up, and I'm gonna do on uh, the Bible readings and stuff. My website, I don't lose hope on me yet. You know, I know it's kind of slow, but you know, given all the nature of the gravity of the situation, and that's why you know it's taking longer, you know, for me to get it right. But hopefully, you know, it's, I'm just it's something the whole platform. I wish to dedicate all to the Lord. You know, um, anyway, you know, so yeah, be be on the lookout though, man. I'm gonna do my Bible readings and stuff and get that right. You know, get that fine. You know, um, yeah, man. I'm also, you know. For the statues of the land, you know, I, you know, I, I, any who don't know the statues of the land, then they'll understand why I feel like I do, considering the things of the nature of what I've gone through already, and continue, you know, to have a presence of it. You know, um, just look at the statues, of, you know, and things of the lands, you know, and um, yeah, I'm threatened with violence, all kind of things from you know, in, in the entities and, and individuals, you know, who have nothing to do with me. It's weird. It's crazy. It's insane. You know. And that's still happening, you know, especially me speaking on, you know, um, you know, someone educating themselves on on the regulations and things that's of the world, other lands, you know, a society, you know, of which I'm also an origin of, you know, I mean, also, you know, I'm, a, you know, like I'm a part of like, of course, my origins was there, you know, so everybody got your birthplace and, you know, things that, you know, you come from physically, you know, so I mean, as far as I know, you know, so, I mean. That's what I say, man. Just that, that's, and then that all makes sense, you know. But I mean, it's a big picture. It all come come together to anybody who look. I'm 100% confident in my testimony, because you know it's through God and through Jesus that He allowed me to be able to express it as I needed to, you know. And I still got faith in the Lord, you know, no matter what. You know, I'm being lied on by everything Antichrist, attacked by things Antichrist, you know, defiled, defamed, slandered. Blessed are you when when, when you know evil. Uttered against your name for Christ's sake, you know, when all types of evil and false accusation, all this kind of stuff, you know, to justify, you know, destroying Christ, you know, that you blessed, you know. The kingdom of heaven is yours, man. Stay up. Everybody stay encouraged. God bless you and God loves you. I love you too. Yeah.